<laughs> Something moved. All right, can I make one prediction? How is it related? <laughs> <laughs> We're really, really cool. I love it. Kill the Let's go. Would you ever want to live on a house where but you had to park like uh, the car like that steep? I mean, I'm not gonna be the one who's driving. That, uh, the brother, the younger one, mm. he has what mental weakness? He said he had nervous breakdown. Ah, uh, nervous breakdown. Like panic disorder. Yeah. Anything significant about May 1997? Hmm? Did anything happen in Korea May 1997? They're gonna share the room. I'm <laughs> 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 Yeah. Mm. He's hearing something. And I see a lot of shit. I was about to say, yeah. if this is the second one. Yeah. Hey, well, hmm? How old are these boys supposed to be? Like, uh, so university age? Uh, 23, because he said that he studied for three years for SAT. So after he graduate, there is SAT test every once a year. And he said that he took it for three times. So 23, I think. What are you? In Korean age. So like 21 or 22. Okay. And the brother... Is a professor. Is he? I thought he was... Yeah, doing some lecture, but yeah. it doesn't mean that he's a professor. He's older, like mid-20, I guess then. Don't <laughs> I mean, that's a CD player. Mm. I don't know if you remember this. Don't mm -mm. oh, do it. <laughs> it jump scares. <laughs> Just open the door and check it out. <laughs> Something moved, right? Yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Do you think that's his imagination at the end? All right, can I make one prediction? Mm. Have you ever seen the movie The Game? Mm. So it's an old Michael Douglas movie. Essentially, the whole plot is people are in on it. Like at the end, it's like finally revealed. Just a crazy prediction. Do you think everything that's happening is... Is the imagination. No, is to motivate him to do better? I come on. No. Like, so his father and his brother, they all like teamed up to mm. fake him? Nah. No, for SAT test? No, just to make him like, like, make something of himself. No. Oh Too much. Why is he falling down? I got shocked. They're thinking ransom call? Mm. 
보름이 지나는 동안 경찰은 지루함을 느끼며 무감각해져 갔고 나와 부모님은 점점 불안해져 간다 음... I did come back to work Or... Mm. The room How is it related? And also, it's really bothering me that the man from the moving company Like it was like, he's your brother? Uh, like, how is it your brother? Like, yeah, I completely like, forgot about that So the movers are in on it But why? Why did they abduct that fully grown man? For what? We'll find out. <gasps> what are you doing? Sorry, bleep that out, please. He just highlighted on the word hypnosis, mm -hmm. so he's hypnotized. He actually did not come back, but he thinks that he came back. This whole thing is his imagination that his brother came back when he actually did not come back. But why would he imagine the wrong leg limping? Is that somebody standing next to him? Do you think he was tortured? So strange. He felt it that he did that, you think? No, I think he heard the door shut. What is happening? You think he knows? Did his brother follow him? Ooh. Do you think uh, something's gonna happen to little brother? No. Something's that's gonna happen. <gasps> Told you. <laughs> oh, it's brother. brother. Oh, the old chloroform. It was a bad dream. What is happening? He actually have some kind of like other illness and he did not take the pill. Is that the towel rack? <laughs> I'm sorry, like he's not schizophrenic. But actually he is. They said he only has anxiety. Mm. Yeah, I didn't tell you about the man. Any theories? I think it is just all his imagination. And surely a month would have passed and all right. <laughs> that thing is still there. Other theory. The mover guy, right, is like, mm -hmm. is that so, you know, and they never got to finish. He assumed the brother was some mob boss because they look really similar. They kidnapped the brother change the mob boss's appearance mm. in like plastic surgery so that takes like three weeks to heal hear me out okay and then the mob boss assumes the identity of the older brother so that he can live amongst the population because maybe he was on the run or something and they tortured the brother to get as much like information mm. about the family mm. as possible so now mm. and the guy's gaslighting the younger brother mm. that's just my theory that i'm going on right now <laughs> Uh, still don't know what's behind the door. No idea. You need a key. <sighs> Long nap. If we ever move into a house and we find a hidden room, we move out. Come <laughs> on! <laughs> 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 
I should have taken the car. The Terminator chasing him. You're not going to just let somebody film that in a police station. What is going on? Now I'm totally confused. Oh. It's like some sort of Shutter Island thing? Like what in the world? There's one heck of a plot twist. Mm. Oh, he's the son? Mm. Oh, now it makes sense then. He thinks it's the doctor? <gasps> oh. What do you think? <laughs> like, I know it was a downer, but I actually love the story. Really? Oh yeah, the story was pretty good. Like, I mean, it was obviously major tragedy, mm. but the first act, mm. like 100%, like had me guessing. Mm. Like, mm. it pointed me in so many different directions. Mm. So, I mean, that part was pretty incredible. And then the major plot twist right in the middle, that was cool. But then the third act, you know, it turns out that it was the dad mm. who hired the hitman mm. to kill his wife so that he could get money. He died by essentially falling off the top mm. of the hospital, mm. which, because nobody saw mm. that they had that struggle, mm. everybody just would have assumed mm. that he would have committed suicide mm. because he felt so much grief for the mm. loss of his wife and daughter, which I assumed that he was gonna tell mm. the son, mm. you know, so that everything would be honest and out in the open. Mm. But mm. I think him keeping that mm. to himself, I think maybe he was trying to spare the boy, but I think, you know, just to seal it as tragedy, they had him throw himself out of a window. I could not understand the reason that that old brother was so eager to revenge to this younger brother, because I thought that he was just tired by the actual victim families, but himself was the victim, so now I understand. Yeah. It was a good story. Yeah, I mean, obviously mm. tragedy, so mm. it's not like you're feeling uplifted, mm -hmm. but the story itself, mm. I thought was incredible. Mm. And then the way that the first act set it up to where, mm. you know, everything was, I mean, I was, I was, mm. <laughs> I was thinking, all right, maybe it's this, maybe it's mm. this, maybe it's this. Like, mm. I thought that was incredibly mm. well crafted. Mm. The big reveal mm. when, you know, he's in the police, like, I thought that was so cool how they mm. did it. You know, we see the calendar at the start of the movie, mm. right? Mm. That it's 1997. Right. And then you see like the old timey phone, mm. the disc man. Mm. And then all of a sudden, mm. you've got the kid with the iPhone, mm. you've got the modern calendar, you've got the president meeting with Trump. And then you see him like in the mirror and how it did that reveal. Like, that was so cool. So, I mean, the director and whoever directed it, like mm. some of the choices that they made were really, really cool. Really? Really cool. I mean, again, kept me guessing, major plot twist. The acting I thought was good, even from the opening scene, like when they're in the car. Like, I was so confused by the whole thing. Mm. But now looking back and seeing like there was all like intentional choices, mm. I was like, oh, it was good. I love it. I love it. Like I, I'm really glad that you liked that movie because yeah. I personally like that director. Uh -huh. Even though I think it is my first time watching his work, mm -hmm. but as director see what else he directed. himself, like he's a really funny guy. Oh, so you might not have seen his movies, but you've seen him like being interviewed. Or? Yeah, uh, I okay. mean, he was in a podcast that I uh, love. okay. And yeah. he's very, very funny man. Um, I just want to see his filmography because I just want to see if I've seen anything. But no, like. Again, it's one of those things where I keep getting surprised because, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm like, what is, ha what is happening? And then as it unfolds, you're just like, man, that's such a good change. So let's see. So Zhang Hangjun, director, Forgotten. So that came out in 2017. Okay. Um, there are more movies that he directed. Yeah, and I know, I know. I'm looking at his wife is very, very famous screenwriter. So too. Rebound, open the door, forgotten. I think so. This must be the first movie of his that I've seen because I don't, I don't recognize any of the other titles. But I mean, well done, sir. Like, really good. Good. I like stupid jump scares. I like that part though. I like. I knew the one was coming, mm. and still it, it scared me. Mm. But I wasn't expecting the one where like the dead girl was standing mm. over the body, right. and you know. Oh I mean, yeah. Oh. Must have been the daughter or yeah. something. Yeah. 
I wasn't expecting that one. That one, <laughs> I went back so hard I hit my head on the wall. But aside from the stupid jump scares. Um, Which I like. No, I, I know. I thought, again, it was just inc incredibly well crafted. So while we were watching the Daily Dose of Sunshine, mm. we talked about how sometimes movies depict mental illness in a mm. wrong way. And I was worrying yeah. if this movie, the director that I really like, he maybe depicted in that wrong way, but it was all misdirection. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it came out in 2017. Mm. I just would have assumed it could have come out this past year. I'm, I'm, I'm actually like really glad we watched it. I know. Well done. Well done. Another good film. <laughs> yeah! Tell me so. Yeah. I thought he was... Yeah, doing some lecture, but yeah. it doesn't mean that he's a professor. He's older, like mid-20, I guess then. Wait, why don't you take the SAT while you're in high school? You can't. You... SAT? Yeah. The, you col the college aptitude yeah. test? You can take SAT in senior in high school, and then there's SAT test every once a year. Is Two years after. doing to try and get a better score? Yeah. Is that why? Interesting. Yo, Bull. You wanna come here? Sit here? <laughs> what was the question? So why is it interesting that Korean kids take the SAT? Test like twice or three so times interesting. Why did you say that? Because in the US, mm. generally, mm. you don't take it more than like two times. I mean, you can take it as many times as you want, mm. but usually you take it twice and then you just take your best combined score. From what I remember, mm. and again, this was a long time ago, things may have changed. Generally speaking, like if you don't have the score that you want, by the time you graduate, then you just get into the best school that you can with the score and the grades that you have. Usually Americans, like you either go to college straight after high school or you go get a job. That's why like I was surprised because I've never heard of somebody like after they graduate high school mm -hmm. studying. I mean, maybe it happens. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it happen. It's not common. No. Mm -hmm. Because like if you want to get into top school, say that you want to get into Harvard and you don't get in on the first try mm -hmm. and a lot of times people will go to another top school mm -hmm. and then maybe they'll transfer mm -hmm. after a year oh. or two like my buddy ryan mm -hmm. who's the doctor in boston mm -hmm. he went to unc that's mm -hmm. how i met him he went there for two years and then he transferred to duke mm -hmm. Interesting. because i think and i don't know this to be true but i don't think a lot of universities would look very favorably mm -hmm. on a student basically not doing anything for a year so it is more beneficial for students to not to make that MB year. Yeah. It's just like when you apply to a job. Mm -hmm. Employers don't like to see large gaps in employment. Interesting. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm.